Hi guys. So let's look at this question here. This question here says that in a factory, 20 workers start working on a project of packing consignments. They need exactly five hours to pack one consignment. Every hour, four new workers join the ex existing workforce. It is mandatory to relieve a, a worker after 10 hours. Find the number of consignments that would be packed in the initial 113 hours, right? So, okay, uh, like we used to, like we used to combine man and days. Okay, so let's try to combine man and hours here. So I can tell that if 20 workers are uh, need five hours to pack one consignment, that means one consignment will be packed in 20 men are needed. Okay, to pack it in one five hours, right? So can I say that 100 man hours are needed to pack one consignment? So 100 man hours are needed to pack one consignment. Okay, I can say that. Fine. Now it says so basically let's start with this here. So let's say for example, a uh, first hour 20 people are working. So 20 people are working for first hour. Second hour again 20, uh, 4 new people will join. So 24 people are working. Okay. So now can I say here that uh, these 20 people who are working right now. So 20 people are working for first hour. So first hour means for one hour, 20 people will work. So the total, uh, total work done is 20 man hours. Then in second hour, uh, four new worker joined. So now for 24 new worker or 24 worker are joining for second, uh, are working for one hour. That is only second hour. So can I say 24 man hour work is done? So now 24 man hour work is done, right? Similarly, I can say that in third hour, okay. So in third hour, four new worker would have joined so 28 new worker hana? and then again four uh so 28 worker i have worked for one hour so can i say that they have worked for some 28 28 man hours okay so 28 man hours they have worked for okay so 20 men have worked for one hour 24 men have worked for one hour that is second hour 28 men have worked for third hour that is only one hour okay so 28 man hour work is done so like this if i if i move further here so i'll see that this is going on and what happens in basically 10th till 10th hour because after 10 hour it is mandatory to relieve a worker after 10 hours okay so after 10 hours somebody will be relieved so in 10th hour how much work will be done so let's move like that in 2024 20, 28 so it will be uh, it, it starts from it starts from 4 into 5 okay this starts from 4 into 5 ah uh, so 4 into 5 then 4 into 6 then 4 into 7 so basically the term will be the 10th term will be 4 into 14 because it starts from 5 so 10th term will come at 14 okay so the number of work done would be how much it would be 56 okay Oh, sorry 56 people will be here so in 10th hour 50 uh, because every of every hour four new people are joining so in 10th hour 56 people would be there so 56 people would have worked for only one hour so can i say that 56 men hour work is done okay so in 10th hour 56 men hour work is done now now understand here so basically this is a uh, now uh, there's a, uh, uh, a lot of mistake people will make at this point because what would happen at 11th 11th hour so the it is mandatory to relieve a worker after 10 hours that means the first hour 20 people have uh, worked and for these 20 people their 10 hours are now over so in 11th hour if 56 people were there already these 20 people will be leaving because their 10 hours are over it is mandatory to relieve them now and four new worker will join so 56 minus 20 plus 4 will become 40 can I say that in 11th hour, 40 new worker, 40 man hour work is done because in 11th hour, 40 people are there and 40 people, people will work for one hour. So 40 man hour work, work is done. Okay. Now what will happen in 12th hour here? In 12th hour, now again, these 40 people are here. So these 40 will be here. Huh? Four people will join and how many people will, people will leave? So now the four people. We joined from here to here. Now that four new worker who joined and they were working in second hour, their 10 hours are now over. Okay. So that this for this, uh, these four people, huh, these four people will leave now. So 40 plus four and minus four will again become 40 only. Can I say that for all the, uh, for the 11th hour now, 
forty man hour work is done. Sorry, about twelve hour also. Forty man hour will be done. Of uh, over work will be done. And can you say that this will happen uh, regularly? For example, in thirteenth hour, same thing will happen. Okay, because again now forty people are there. This forty people are here. Okay, four people who have joined in third hour who are working in third hour. These four people for they are there. Uh, Ten hours are now over. Okay, so. I think forty plus four and minus four will again become forty. So now regularly after this, so every hour forty men hour work would be done. So now if forty men hour work would be done, so can I say that this will run till what? How much time? One hundred and thirteen hours. Okay, that means till one hundred and thirteen hours. How many work will be done? So forty, forty, and forty men hour work will be done till one hundred and thirteen hours. Okay. So hundred and thirteen hours, correct? Like twelve, thirteenth, look, we go going like this here. Hundred and thirteenth, okay, like this. So what is the total work here? So now I can calculate what is my total work. So my total work will be equal to how much? That will be just add this or add all this data. That will be twenty plus twenty four. So twenty plus twenty four plus twenty eight, and this will go on till. Ah, uh, fifty-two and fifty-six. Correct. There are ten terms here. So one to ten, there are ten terms here. There are some plus in eleventh hour. Ah, uh, eleventh hour two one one three. So after ten, ten to hundred and thirteen hours. That means for hundred and three hours more, forty men hour work is done every time. So forty into hundred and three. How hundred and three from eleven to one one three? Okay. So what is this? What is the value? So we can just calculate this is in AP. This is in AP, AP arithmetic progression. So you can just see that uh, the value here is basically twenty plus fifty six is seventy six. Ah, huh. so in AP, sum from first and last term, second and second last term, all are same, right? So twenty plus fifty six seventy six, twenty four plus fifty two seventy six, right? So all is the same. So there are ten numbers here. So one to ten, there are ten numbers here. So I can make five pairs of seventy six. What is sum here? Sum is seventy six into five. Ah, huh. plus forty into hundred three will be four one two zero. Seventy six into five is seventy six into ten is seven sixty. Half of seven is seven sixty is three eighty. So three eighty plus four one two zero will be equal to forty five hundred man hour. So total work is equivalent to forty five hundred man hours, and for one consignment, hundred man hour was needed. So what is the number of consignments here? So number of consignments will be equal to forty five hundred by hundred. That is equal to forty five. So forty five is the answer for this question. Okay. So hope you learned a good concept, a good question on time and work. Okay. Thank you.